Aloha everyone, Michelle Melendez with Blossom Inner Wellness and StandTogetherHawaii.com. And I'm so excited again because I have Captain Matt and he has been in the fire service for 33 years and a fire captain for 17 and on his own sovereign journey of getting his him, himself out of the U.S. corporation and rescinding all of his contracts that have kept him enslaved in the system. And Captain Matt, I'm just really glad to have you. Thank you so much, Michelle. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. So we're just talking about two things uh, for this video. And that is, if you get out of the system and you uncontract yourself or send all of your contracts, can they uh, draft you or your son or any family member? It, well, actually, it's individual. So I'll just keep it at that. Can they draft you? And then the second thing we're going to be talking about is uh, land um, patents, and is it possible to stop paying taxes on your land? So, Captain Matt, what do you think about the first one around uh, rescinding contracts to stop the draft? Yeah, 100%. So, it gets just ba getting back to the basics, you know, we're dealing with a corporation, corporate government corporation, and 99.9% .9 of the population is U.S. citizens. So, yes, US, you're a U.S. citizen, and you meet the criteria, then yeah, you're you, then you have to um, if they reinstate the draft, then you're going to have to go sign up. But that's for U.S. citizens. So by correcting your status, getting out of that corporation, that corporate system, becoming a free man or woman, and doing the same to your kids if you're a parent, now you're outside that corporate system. You're not in their jurisdiction. So no, absolutely not. This is this is these are corporations. So absolutely. I mean, 100 percent. That's it's, it's as easy as that. They have no jurisdiction over you once you're a national, once you're one of the we the people of the several states, you know, living in the republic, not this corporate system. But there's you know, there's quite a bit that we just did on the last video to understanding what that means. It's simple to do. But the real the the real important part is actually having the understanding having an understanding. Otherwise, you can easily slip up and get back into their system by signing something, uh, saying that you're citizen and resident of the United States. You, there's So there's so it's really important to get the understanding. But as far as the amount of stuff you have to do, it's very little. You don't have to do a whole lot other than really understand it and um, don't contract back in. Contract out and don't contract back in. And you're out of that corporate system. And so, no, you or your children, once you contract out, or outside their system. So, and they, and they will try to contract with you back in, you guys. They are tricky little sneaky bastards. Yeah. And so they're going to send you something or, or maybe, you know, they're going to, this is why you need to understand the language the, around what you are. You are a living man or a living woman. You are the authorized a, um, agent of your straw man, your fictitious name, which is your name. That is a bond in the Federal uh, Reserve um, uh, Bank for the U.S. United States Corporation. So you have to get this. So this is why I was saying in the last video, please study this information, study it more than the videos that you watch on YouTube, the entertainment that you watch, the news that you watch, you know, your favorite YouTube is study this more. And so uh, you can go to blossominterwellness.com forward slash freedom school. The link's in the description. It's still un uh, up and running. It's still, I'm still, it's a work in progress, but I am going to have website links uh, to other links to other websites that are already in place that already have this information. You can go to them. Uh, a lot of them have different fees and stuff, but that is available for you. So please, please get let's do this together if all people did this they'd have no power and they have no power over us and let's show them how we know that they have no power over us so captain matt the second one is about land can people possibly stop paying taxes on their land and i don't want to say stop paying taxes i actually well, let me let me change that language myself can they uncontract rescind the contract to pay taxes because right now everybody has a contract when you pay when you buy a house you sign into the system that you are going to that you give your your land to uh, the government. You don't own your land. This is why you keep on having to pay taxes on it. So can you rescind the contract that has allowed you has put you in the state to pay taxes on your land? What do you say about that? Yeah, and I wouldn't even necessarily call it a contract. It's more constructive fraud that's gone on um, because all land 
was originally patented. I believe all, maybe not all, but I think most, if not all, was originally patented. Um, and so whatever, wherever your house is, I'm not sure about Hawaii, but then I'm talking mainland, the mainland, um, was part of a bigger parcel of property. And it was patented and it was given out after like here in California, it was the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo that um, talked about dispersing of the lands. And it even talks, you know, in the Constitution, U.S. Constitution about treaties. And um, so it's the highest form of law. And they did that through the land patent. They dispersed the lands through the land patent. They create a land patent and on every land patent, it says, so it's, so all land is, is granted. You have a grantor and a grantee. So it's granted from whatever president, probably sometime in the 1800s, most likely maybe early 1900s, it was granted to whoever um, was asking for that land, whatever they were um, offering for it, but it was, it was granted to them. And it, so it's not really technically bought or sold. Um, it's granted. That's why you, on, you have a grant deed and you have a grantor and a grantee. And it says right on it to the heirs and assigns forever. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So that was supposed to be the land is supposed to be ours for free. And if it's, if your land that your house sits on is just where you raise your family and there is no business going on there, no commerce, no tractable privilege going on other than you just existing there to raise your family, then they have no right to tax you, but they do. They've converted all of our property. They've done an overlay and converted it. And that's why when you get your property tax bill, again, it's everything in all caps and they've, they've done this conversion. They've, they've created a, um, uh, what do you call it? The parcel numbers, assessor's parcel number that never used to exist. Um, they've created that. So they've gotten their hands on and, and changed it up to where they've made it to where, you know, they still send us a tax bill, but they, they have no right for doing that. We have a right to exist somewhere and you cannot tax a right. As long as you're not asking for some sort of taxable benefit, taxable privilege, you're not running a business out of your house, then you should not be taxed. And so the land patent, again, it's it says forever, the years and assigned forever. So what you would do is bring that land patent forward. You would um, you find it, you go to the Bureau of Land Management, you find, uh, find the um, land patent that covers the area where your parcel of land is on. And then you would create the description of your property within that original patented piece of land, you would separate that out, you describe it, and there's a procedure you go through to where you you would do what's called a reverse chain of title, or you would go all the way from the original grantee, the person that it was granted to from whichever president that granted it, you would go from them all the way to yourself, grantor, grantee, grantor, grantee, and you'd have that all laid out. You know, on this date, it was granted to this person and that person. And then on this date, that person granted to this person. And on that date, that person granted it all the way up to yourself. So a, from, from the original president that granted it to begin with, all the way to yourself. You have that full chain of title. You have the description of the property. Then you would do a public notice, a si over 60-day public notice, explaining that you are accepting a cert cert certificate of acceptance of declaration of land patent. You have that, um, you do a notice in, in the newspaper or public notice, and then, then you get it recorded. So that's, that's the, those are the steps. Ron Gibson is the guru. He's written two books. One, um, I think everything you need to know about land patent, something like that. And another book called uh, You're Not a Slave, I believe is the name of it. Two really good books. Um, so I highly recommend if you're going to do this, um, I would get both those books and I would start, I would go to, through one of his classes. So um, so this one looks like the land patents, the that, ultimate that, protection that, of your land? That's not it. It's 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 Ron oh, okay. Gibson. Ron Gibson. Um, it would it's so uh, what was it called again? Let me just put in the title. Um I can go I can go grab mine if you want me to go. Okay, grab yeah, it. that would be great. Yeah. 
So you guys, this is um this is not legal advice. <laughs> this is just for information only for you guys to look it up yourself. <laughs> you know, uh, people sometimes you know call contact me and uh, want me to help them, but uh, this is you need to understand this stuff. No, so I, I have given you guys some. Uh, examples and we will be doing more classes and we're going to be doing even live classes to help people uh, all right so that's, that's what you that's yeah what you seed you know what what okay what you need to know about land patents all right what you need to love about patents. so take a look at that and um get, and getting your books one, and this other Go one ahead. is a really good book also um, oh what's this one let me see here you are, uh, you are not a slave. I yeah. love these. I love these. I wonder if these are even on Amazon. I don't know. I would look at just Ron Gibson. Um, okay. American, I think it's American think Meeting Group. I'll just put group. it in here. American Meeting Group, uh, I believe, out of Texas. He's on there. I think you can find him on there. And he gives seminars. And you can oh, buy I found it. Too. Okay, great. Okay. I think this is it. Let's see here. Uh. And this is really important because if Klaus Schwab has his way, we'll own nothing and be happy. <laughs> and, and and their their view of what happiness is, not right. ours. So so I mean, you know, the the ability to tax is the ability to destroy. And when they can tax you for existing, that's really what it is. It's an existence tax. You have to exist somewhere. How can they tax? your house that's for raising your kids for raising your family how, how can that be taxed when you haven't asked for anything again this yeah. is our servant government so it's a and people ask well how about this how about the roads how about well you got fuel tax for the roads you know i mean we, there's these are all things that's, that that, that yeah, the, I, I was a question about that because somebody was like well the taxes are for the roads and we write we drive the roads and yeah, no, so, people people don't understand. If they knew where their tax dollars were really going, they would be they they'd be running here for this. But people don't understand. So So I found there is actually a PDF. Uh this is uh let me do a screen share really fast of what I found here for these patents, these books. Um Google Chrome. This one is this is what I just found. So I just put in, I just put in Ron Gibson land patent, and this is a PDF. So this is something you can just grab. It looks like land patent uh, Gibbons exhibit. And then it goes, what you need to know about land patents. So it's all right here. I'll put the link in the description. And then the other one, I just put in, um, you are not a slave by Ron Gibbons. And then these all came up and I just clicked on this one. So this is also not just information about the book and there's probably the book you can buy, but there's also a video that they're showing you here. And I'll let that come up. And uh, yeah, so listen and watch podcast and he, he actually has information. But if you just put in, um, you know, the in the URL, don't look, go, don't go to Amazon and you'll, you'll find some more information and can probably find find the book as well. But awesome. Well, anything else, Captain Matt, on this? This has been no, really I mean, great. This ultimately, this is it's gonna take it's gonna take work and time and effort, but ultimately it is what we really need to do if we wanna save our country. We need to do this. And we need to first of all, the first step is correct our own status and then mm -hmm. and then yes, getting our houses out of that system. So yep. yep. Yeah. And also so understanding that um the reason why they keep people in debt all the time and like wanting to buy more stuff is, you know, is for the debt. The American dream, big house, big car, blah, 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 blah. This was going to make you happy. It never makes you happy because more people are in debt over up to their eyeballs. And then all they do is they go to work and they can't even enjoy the beautiful home that they bought. Or the car that they, the car that they, beautiful car they bought is now just commuting them to, to be a slave forever. So there's a reason for all of this, you guys, and it's to keep us enslaved. But take whatever extra time you have and learn this stuff to get yourself out of the system so that your children and your children's children can have a different world. You know, we are the ones, we are the ones that said, yes, I'm going to go forward on earth at this time. And this is what I'm going to do. And this is not going to be easy, but I know I'll have everything. And you do, you have everything you need to do this. Just take it one step at a time. If I can do it, I'm a fitness trainer, you guys. 
I studied fitness for almost 30 years. And if I can do this and understand it, which I don't understand all of it, I still screw up here and there with the language around it. Um, but I still am learning every single day uh, around this stuff. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. So Captain Matt, anything else you want to share? No, no, I think this is really important. And I'm glad you're, um, I'm glad we're having this conversation. Um, yeah, just, I just make, I, I really recommend, even though that information is there, I really recommend going to his seminars and cause he's going to fill in so many yeah. holes that you might have. This is not just a, it's really getting a, an understanding and you're going to have a fight on your hands. They're not going to, you're going to have a fight on your hands. I, I would only attempt this if you're really serious about it and going to go and have a lot of time and, and, and we need to do this. We need to do this, but, but more important than this, um, is really correcting your own status. That's more important in building that foundation. And then, and then going after this, cause this is going to be a big one and they're going to, and they're going to fight you really hard. They're not going to fight you to correct your status. That's easy. You just fill give them some notices and you're at, get out of, and you're done. But, but this one, you're going to have a big fight on your hands. So because it's a lot of money that they're going to be losing exactly. a lot of money. Oh, no. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So that, so anyways, just that's a heads up. I, I would, if you're going to, I absolutely, I think everybody should do both, but ultimately, you know, correct your status first and really build yep. that foundation of knowledge before you yep. move on to this. Correct your status first, then look into how to do this uh, land patent and just step, stepping forward with the book. You know, don't take action until you know what's what's going on and, and how you can really um, uh, the language that you need to know, because you will more than likely be going to court for this. And you definitely need to know your language when you walk in that door, because when you go into a courtroom, you're not going into a room, you're going into their ship, which is maritime law on the land that they're trying to trick you. So it's trickery the whole way through. So you got to know that language. So let's do a quick prayer around this. Oh, great spirit, infinite intelligence of all things. You are beating our hearts and breathing our bodies, and you have guided us to this information. You have guided us to this, to wherever we are on the planet right now, whatever it is that each one of us is doing. And this whole game of being in a human body and the trickery and the lies and the manipulation that is being unfolded and being shown to us that the light is revealing all of it, that these demons and these monsters that have tricked us and lied and murdered our families and our children, that their time is over. And we know that each person that steps forward just to learn more and more about this information has the courage and the tenacity to follow through. All they have to do is just ask for it. So we ask for it now. We ask for the courage to keep stepping forward. We ask for the tenacity and the energy to keep reading that next book, that next page, that, ne that next sentence. And we know that we have that within us. And we do this not just for ourselves to become sovereign and free, but we do this for all people around the world. Those people who cannot even imagine uncontracting with their government. We do this for them. We do this for the women in Iran, in Persia, that cannot even dance or sing without being arrested. We do this for the people that have, have lost their lives from these absolute murderers and monsters and this evil entities that are controlling the world. That's who we do this for as well. And we have it within us. We have the strength. We have the protection to step forward and to do what we know is right. Not what is easy, but what is right. And we know, we know that the consciousness of Jesus Christ is within every single one of us, that his love, so much love, so much love that we can't even imagine being in a human body, how much we are loved. But this Jesus Christ consciousness is always with us, stepping us forward, guiding us on the way. And we are so grateful, great spirit. We are so grateful that we know we are not alone. We are here on the planet. Our higher self said yes. And our guides are always with us. We are never, never alone. And we say, so it is. Thank you, Captain Matt. So appreciate you, you, friend. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Aloha, everyone. Check out the Freedom School. The links are in the description. And um, uh, you got this. We got this, you guys. We totally have this. Much aloha.